input and output devices. Computer input and output devices have undergone remarkable development since their existence. This chapter covers the different types of computer input and output devices. The primary function of input devices is getting data and instruction into the computer. Popular input devices are keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, and webcam. An output device is any hardware component that can convey information to a user. Common output devices are monitors, printers, and sound speakers. Upon completion of this unit, you should be able to understand the importance of current input and output devices in a computer system, as well as explain their functionalities. Input Devices Input devices accept user commands or data and send them to the computer for processing. The main function of input devices is to convert people-readable form of data into a machine-readable form that the computer can store and process. People-readable form of data can be letters, numbers, visual codes, and symbols. Whereas, machine-readable forms of data consist of electronic signals of zeros and ones, a personal computer is normally equipped with a mouse and keyboard as standard input devices. Input devices can fall under three categories, namely pointing, scanning and voice. Input can be made by keyboard or direct entry. Keyboard The computer keyboard is a way to input letters or numbers into different applications or programs. A keyboard also has special keys that help operate the computer. Most modern computer keyboards are based on the square T layout and resemble a typewriter keyboard. It is known as a square T keyboard because the first six keys on the top row of letters spell square T. There are also as RT keyboard which is similar to the square T layout except that Q and A are swapped, Z and W are swapped, and M is in the middle row instead of the bottom one. As our T keyboard layout is used in France. Mouse A mouse is a pointing device that controls the movement of the cursor or pointer on a display screen. It is used to move an electronic pointer called a cursor around the screen or click on an object or option on the screen to trigger it to respond. Types of mouse are as follows. Mechanical has a rubber or metal ball on its underside that can roll in all directions. Mechanical sensors within the mouse detect the direction the ball is rolling. Optomechanical same as a mechanical mouse but uses optical sensors to detect motion of the ball. Optical It has no moving parts, instead it uses light emitting diodes and photodiodes that emit and sense light to detect the mouse's movement. Cordless mouse It is not physically connected at all. It is a battery powered device that transmits data using wireless technology. However, these types of mouse, that is, the mechanical, optomechanical and optical, are more or less same as that shown in this figure. The only difference for the cordless mouse is that it looks same as that in this picture, but without any wires. You will get to see what strike ball and a foot mouse. Trackball mouse. The trackball is sometimes called an upside-down mouse. While a mouse employs a rolling ball on its underside, a trackball uses an exposed ball that the user manipulates with his or her fingers. Unlike a traditional mouse, a trackball does not require a horizontal pad on which to move. They are a good choice for those with limited desk space, large monitors, or 
Programming ability. Foot mouse is an innovative mouse using to interchangeably foot pedal. One to move the cursor and the other to click, drag, and drop objects. It can eliminate stress related to the wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Touch screen. A touch screen is an intuitive computer input device that works by simply touching the display screen either by a finger or with a stylus rather than typing on a keyboard. It is a display which can detect the presence and location of a touch within the display area. Any touch screen system comprises the following three basic components. A touch screen sensor panel that sits above the display and which generates appropriate voltages according to where precisely it is touched. A touch screen controller that processes the signals received from the sensor and translates these into touch event data which is passed to the PC's processor, usually via serial or USB interface. A software driver provides an interface to the PC's operating system and which translates the touch event data into mouse events, essentially enabling the sensor panel to emulate a mouse. Advantages of touch screen The most obvious advantage of touch screen monitors is that they act as both an input and output device. Using a graphical user interface, there is no need for a separate monitor, keyboard, and mouse, as the touch screen monitor acts as all three. The touch screen interface is simple, intuitive, and easiest to learn of all PC input devices. It is fast becoming the interface of choice for a wide variety of applications. The user-friendly touch screen interface can be less intimidating and easier to use than other input devices, especially for novice users, making information accessible to the widest possible audience. Touch screen monitors can also reduce the size of a computer system without separate peripherals. Touch screen monitors also have the advantage of being more robust than a conventional CRT, cathode ray tube, or LCD monitor. Touch screens are often built with durability in mind, and many are resistant to industrial contaminants such as water, dirt, oil, and grease. Disadvantages of touch screen One of the disadvantages of touch screen is that using the finger to point is not always suitable for accurate selection of small regions and it can leave greasy marks on the screen. The finger may be too large for accurate pointing with small objects thus causing low precision. Fatigue is caused by straining the arm muscles under heavy use, especially if the screen is placed vertically. Considering the ergonomics aspect, the user must sit within arm's reach of the display and this can cause possible discomfort. Touchpad. A touchpad is a pointing device that translates the motion and position of a user's fingers to a relative position on screen. A touchpad has two parts. One part acts as a button while the other emulates a mouse pad on which the user traces the location of the cursor with a finger and striking over the surface. However, even experienced users continue to report problems if another finger accidentally touches the pad, causing motion detection to become confused and the cursor to jump across the screen. Light pen. A light pen is a pointing device that is held to point directly to items on the screen. This light sensitive pen addresses individual pixels for fine selection and drawing it utilizes a light-sensitive detector to select objects on a display screen. A light pen is similar to a mouse, except that with a light pen, you can move the pointer 
and select objects on the display screen by directly pointing to the objects with the pen. Hence, it is much more accurate than the touch screen. Some limitations of the fragile light pen are that it may be tiring on the arm, can cause obstruction of sight on the monitor, and varying background lighting often corrupts light pen input. Digitizing tech.